Greetings, friends. I am Dreyfus Center, and I welcome you back to day 14 of my vlog every day in April for 2016. Now, for this day, I'm going to go over um, a couple of my favorite TV shows growing up and game shows. Uh, when I was a lot younger, I was very familiar with uh, the Disney Afternoon with the Tailspin and Rescue Rangers and everything. There was something just so iconic about those classic Disney cartoons. And I really like, I still really like watching cartoons. I sort of had a hard time getting into gargoyles, but I can I can appreciate it now that I'm a little bit older. Um, I can specifically remember when I was in elementary school when both Animaniacs and the very first Power Rangers actually came out. Um, I, I so look forward to watching both the weirdness of Animaniacs and the kick awesomeness of Power Rangers. Uh, but I also remember to the, that the Batman animated series had come out roughly around that time. I, I'm not a historian, so don't quote me on that. But uh, I remember the Batman animated series being so serious for its time that uh, I really didn't like watching that show because it was just not funny. And I, I just wanted to watch something that was actually just, that made me laugh. There was that, and also growing up, got it, Power Rangers. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, game shows. Um, a couple of shows. There, there's always the classic Where in the World is Carmen San Diego, both Where in the World, Where in Time is Carmen San Diego. Uh, interesting story, uh, going back to my autism again. Uh, I didn't know that the Where in the World is Carmen San Diego show was actually, I think it was filmed in New York. And my mom tried to actually get me on the show and everything, but I didn't know that back in the day, so lesson learned. And that was actually one of those uh, game shows that I wanted to be on so badly, but due to not my being on the spectrum, I didn't know that you had to actually register and audition and do the standard things you'd normally do to, to get on a game show. Um, I, I remember seeing the, the game show Double Dare as well, and I thought that was such a really fun game show, the fact that you could get so messy and go through that obstacle course. I remember the whole the, the slide with the, the big ice cream right in the middle. You have to get all those flags. So that was iconic for me way back in the day. And where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Where in time is Carmen San Diego? Do a Rockapella and everything. Um, also, I can say that, that you have the standard Saturday morning cartoons, uh, Where in the World is Carmen San Diego. I can, I can remember way back in the day when I was really, really young, uh, probably at about seven or eight in the morning, on a Saturday morning, I would tiptoe downstairs and uh, turn the TV on and then quickly hit, hit that volume button and, and put it to like two or three to try not to wake anybody up. and. I can remember like um, sleeping a little bit and then trying to wake up and then uh, catching the Super Mario Brothers Super Show and the Legend of Zelda cartoon that came after it. I can remember always catching that, ca catching those shows on Friday. Well, the Legend of Zelda show on Friday for me specifically, and uh, that that really sort of gave me a routine to, to watch. Uh, uh, there was Legend of Zelda show. Uh, what else? I I really enjoyed watching TV as a kid and trying to get out of my chores. And classic kid, what do you do? Uh, and I still watched uh, cartoons growing up too. And I could remember when Pokemon first came out. I tried to record uh, the first handful of shows of the first season, which I actually still have those tapes back there. I'm going to have to learn how to point like this. And, and cartoons were pretty iconic for me back in the day. But uh, I think I'll actually leave it at that for right now. So, for day 14, this is Drive Pizano for Blogger Day April. Until next time, be you, be yourself.